Hello. Uh, we'll now look at few examples of recursion. So first thing we'll look at is uh, the factorial function. It's something we saw in the theory class. We'll try to code up the factorial function. That's our first objective. Okay. I start off with hash include stdio.h uh, int main right now I'm interested in finding out the factorial of uh, a number right so let me write the function as we said uh, the factorial function will take as input uh, an integer n right it will take as input an integer n and it will output and uh, it will return an integer which is the factorial function which is n factorial so I should write note down here that function returns the factorial of the input integer okay and okay so uh, so now I have this function <coughs> what should the function oh yeah so we saw it right so there are two parts to the function the function should have one the base case what is the base case we saw that the base case is 0 or 1 so I'll uh, 0 and 1 so 0 yeah so we saw that the base case is on, uh, need to be only zero right and so this is one base case if n is equal to zero i return one okay i we also saw that i could have had multiple base cases but we'll stick to one now so this is the base case for our recursive function and then the inductive step our inductive step is i we had that x is equal to factorial n minus one and I have we have returned n into x right this is our function and we also have to define x okay so this is our factorial and now I can see so let's print that thing out right so I'm going to have first an integer n um, 5 and we are going to print the value of that integer so so that so I'll just write uh, yeah percentage d percent uh, exclamation is equal to percentage d comma n comma okay so, so what I just wrote is that uh, it's will be n factorial is equal to the value that's what I wrote and then we will just include the, the slash n to, for the next line okay so this should work that's our first point this should work so I'm going to compile this so it's gcc recursion dot cc and it worked compiled pretty well and yeah, 5 factorial is equal to 120. Is it correct? 5 into 4 is 20. 20 into 3 is 60. 60 into 2 is 120. Okay, so this is uh, this is good. Um, so next function we look at is the following. <coughs> we look at one more uh, function. So I have an array of integers and I want to sum up the array of the integers. Okay. I want to sum all the elements in the array and I'm going to use uh, basically recursion right uh, how, how will I do this I'm going to so int sum uh, sum of array okay and I'm going to take an int array right okay. and I will add here uh, function returns uh, 
it returns the sum of integers in the input array. Right? Okay. And now I want to sum this array. And how will I do? What, what is the idea I'm going to use? I'm going to take one element. If I can, okay. So let's assume that the array has k elements, okay. Array has, let's assume the array has k elements. What I can do is the following. I will sum up the array, the, the last k minus one elements recursively and add it to the first element. So I take the first element and sum it up to the uh, remaining k minus one elements. Okay. And to get the sum of the remaining k minus one elements, I use uh, recursion. One problem here: How do I know where the array has k elements? Mm, is there some way? Uh, those who used to Python, you know that you know how to find. Given an array, we know how to find the size of uh, the array in Python. But in C, it's not possible. Okay. So it's not possible in the program to detect the size of the array. So that's something you need to pass. That's also something you have to pass here. So, so I, I also have an integer called size of array, which also needs to be passed. Okay. So is that clear? Okay. So if the size of the array is k, the array can be accessed from 0 to k minus 1. Okay. Is that good? Right. So if the size of array is 1, there's just one element, right? Array of 0. <coughs> okay. So what is the what is the base case in this situation? What is the base case you see? Right? What about the base cases? It's kind of the simplest cases when array contains, I mean there are two cases, right? One is array contains no elements and one, the other is array contains just one element. What should I do if the array contains, okay. So, so let's just stick to the, sim, the base, uh, base case, the array contains no element. What should I do if the array contains no element? The sum should be zero. Right, so if size of array is equal to zero, I'm going to return zero. Okay. On the other hand, I don't have it's it's not zero. Then what what should I do? <coughs> then I'm going to take first I'm going to compute the size of the array. I'm going to compute the sum of the array from 0 to k minus 1. Okay, so okay, yeah. So size of the array is uh, is k. Then I'm I'm going to find out. I'm going to say set the array size to be k minus one, so that now array going to be, is going to be accessed only from zero to k minus one. Okay, so I'm going to so I so this function, the recursive function is supposed to give you the sum of the integers in the array from zero to k minus one. So I have that, and then I add to the kth element. So what should I do? I basically return x plus array at okay so now so there should be uh, yeah what did it what is it I didn't do it takes so, okay there is some confusion which you need so I mean okay so let's separate these two lines of I can write code here so this is this was the recursive step above which I should have noted down and this is the base case here and this is the recursive step 
and what does it do uh, finds the sum of first k minus 1 right okay. so k size of array minus 1 numbers so finds the sum of first array size of array minus 1 numbers and that number is now added to so where are the first k minus 1 elements going to be the first k minus 1 elements are going to be 0 to k minus 2 right 0 to k minus 2 that's what this is going to return the sum of all elements from 0 to k minus 2 that is x now and this is that plus the value at k minus 1 okay So this is terms. Is it clear? Okay. Now I will do the following. I'm going to will create an array, int array of let's first put it. Uh, okay. First, let me have array size. Let's have it five. Okay. And I'm going to have uh, an array of AR size. Okay, I, we said that this has to be a constant int, right? Okay. We set it to be a constant int, and I'm going to set this thing how many elements? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the first five. Uh, what should the sum be? The sum of first five elements is. While you think, I will try to print this out so I'm going to call printf uh, sum of first a new line then Okay, so this is the now I'm going to compile this GCC uh, recursion dot slash a dot out. Yeah, so the sum of integers in the array is equal to 15. Okay, why is it 15? It's n into n plus 1 here, right? By 2. So n is 5 into 6 by 2, 3, 5 into 3, 15. It's correct. Right? So uh, we have this here. So what you, you understood the idea, right? So sum of the array is basically we find out the sum of integers from 0 to k minus 1 recursively and then add it up with the kth element and return that value. Okay. So good so we have seen two uh, recursive functions and these both these functions are linear recursion because both functions use just once and call the recurse uh, call the recursive function once the recursive step occurs only once 